Hey guys, Don Music here. Happy Father's Day. Uh, I'm celebrating my 500 subscribers, more than 500 now. Thank you very much, guys. I had this vlog appear on my magical YouTube mystery ball of random chances. And uh, it actually seems sort of relevant. Uh, this seems to be the period when they did a bit of recording on Queen of the Murder Scene at a different studio, I think somewhere, somewhere in the States. It's a vlog from about four years ago, five years ago, that it was posted. I'm not sure when it was recorded. No, it must have been recorded before that, and then they only posted it then. Anyway, let's take a look at this together. This is uh, called The Warnings Home Vlog, number seven. I know not the details, but it appears to be relevant. It's Fat Alan, everybody! <laughs> okay, so we're recording. Uh, oh. <laughs> That's awkward. <laughs> Real pros. Awesome. Okay. So, guys, um, a lot of your fans over on social media, especially on Patreon, uh, have been watching your vlogs or video vlogs of mm -hmm. your recent <laughs> visit to Los Angeles, Fierce Studio, and a bit of it, your experience. I know you guys were uh, overwhelmed and tired at some of it. So, what do you say we go uh, through some of those experience in a more detailed video yes sure. cool so um when you first met is that rudy's voice to me that sounds like it might be rudy he's very bilingual as well right like he speaks fluent english and spanish uh, without an accent as far as i can tell um it sounds like he's trying to rein them all in here and and get a productive vlog out of them so it should be interesting Francesco and Craig that was back in January when you guys went to NAM, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you talked about the possibility of working together and then visited Sphere Studios what were your feelings and then what were your expectations before arriving to work with them okay well I mean, when we we got a pretty good impression of them they were yes. really nice and of the studio of course the we studio were like, was we were pretty impressed <gasps> yeah and uh, I think that we were pretty, well, at least I was pretty excited about going yeah. there. Yeah. Kind of nervous, so. extremely nervous, actually. It was like, but really, really excited to actually be I guess we were kind of nervous because on um, the first album, um, we've got some experience in a studio. So we knew it was going to be a different process because last album we worked with Jake. And he knows us like super well. We know him. He's part of like actually family. So... When, like, working with Francesco yeah. and Craig was very different for us because... we, we didn't, didn't know them that well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. They, they didn't know us. Basically. So they, we actually have had no idea what it will be like to work. Yeah, so the first days were basically other. getting to know how we work, et cetera, et cetera. And our cetera. different work ethics. <laughs> yes. I mean, but, in the end it was... This is the first time I've seen a vlog of theirs where they've been edited down. Maybe this is an edited down version of it. I don't know. But still, either way, it's really cool. and it flies along fast this way. Staying true to, to what we wanted. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, it was different. Yeah. Hearing, yes. like, working with other people new... who had different, like, points of view of stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Plus, at first we kind of did struggle a little bit we like, did yeah, struggle we did. to have an open mind because we were so in love with what we had originally done. had yeah that that's that's totally logical right they come in there with their songs that they've written and from what i understand they only show up with songs generally speaking that are really thoroughly written unlike what they've been doing over the last couple of months right but with more and all that that was more spontaneous but in the past they 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 muscled through everything before they ever showed anybody. So that's kind of hard to hard to have a discussion with someone else who's then trying to change it, a producer, right? Because producers, their job is to be more than a mixer. It's an idea person, a suggester, an arranger, possibly a musician who even plays on the track. That's what producers are. They're, they're co-musicians trying to give them a guidance into a sound which is why it's so difficult to find a producer that you like that works well with what you want to do, what your particular goals are. Actually, uh, Larry King called it, what was the, the word, demoitis or something like that? Yeah, it was, was that. Like, yeah, yeah, that's totally true. Yeah, that cause, happens. Because you're so used to hearing it that one way because the three songs that we went to record, 
We've they were pretty seeing... old. I mean, yeah. dull knives. It's from it's like from basically a year ago, two years ago. I mean, they're they're old songs. Yeah, we have. Oh, dull knives is one of the ones they recorded at Sphere Studios. Okay, that's very cool. So this is topical to Queen of the Murder scene for sure. Did Pau just say that these songs are pretty old, like a year or two? I guess old is relative, right? When I guess when I was that age, a year or two felt like forever because time traveled very slowly, but it felt like it was going by fast and you were so productive and busy and doing so much all the time. Now, a year or two is like, if I'm lazy, I can let it go by without even doing anything. So we have been listening to a very long time. So going to work on them, then somebody telling you like they really change. want to change it. Mm. And at first it's like, yeah. but I think that the changes that happened to the songs were really for the, for the best. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they they worked really well in the end. And I, I, think we're, I think yeah. I love it. I, I love them more than they yeah. were before, which is actually that, like that was the whole that, point. Yeah. <laughs> to, for them to be better than they used to be, mm -hmm. to take it to that next level. And I think we mm -hmm. did reach that. Yeah. They're, I think mm -hmm. they're Although we good. did have to like stand our ground for some. Yeah, for uh, some stuff. For yeah. some stuff. Because in the end, <laughs> yes. it's still. Us. Yes, us. And yeah, like our ideas really. and their their ideas. Yes. It, it's like a Bounds blend. Them out. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> we do enjoy it, yeah. but it it was still a different experience because we're in a different place in a different environment that we've never really been in before. Because I mean, yeah. it's a different country, etc. Like here, we could just like communicate very easily, but over mm -hmm. there, I mean, there's still that language barrier sometimes. But I think that we worked really well. Mm -hmm. Plus, it was our first time with techs, like in our own. Oh yeah, we oh, had yeah. Like, like we had a drum tech, uh -huh, so a guitar, guitar tech, tech, and well, Francesco. Yeah, Francesco, Francesco was the, the bass. <laughs> A drum tech, a guitar tech, and Francesco. <laughs> I like that. Basically. Yes. But, yes. I mean, that was pretty fun. Mm -hmm. But it was pretty interesting because you, you could see how the other people were, like, the techs were working. And you could basically just, like, learn from what they were doing. And I think that's <laughs> It's like, amazing all the work that's behind, not just what we are playing, but the sound. sound and everything. I mean, you have no idea how many times I had to change the drum. That was why we basically took... I mean, so I could have recorded the three songs in one day, but it was that the we had to get the right sound and we exactly kind of, the right yeah. Sound. And it's not that it was sounding bad, but it just it could sound better. better yeah. mm. And uh, the I had to tune like we had to tune it a lot of times so it could be on tune yeah. with the song. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think we have were like done playing that live, mm -hmm. and we're yeah, like right there. They were like changing it and changing it, and, like. Mm -hmm. And actually, uh, we did some tracks with a baritone guitar. To tune that thing was like, we actually had to make, well, the Rem, the guitar tech, had to make a, a specific set of sizes of guitar strings for it to... Yeah, buried guitars are really hard to get strings for. You kind of have to custom piece them together from unique strings out of different sets of guitar strings. And they, they are sometimes hard to find the right lengths as well. Uh, interesting that she played a gu Barry guitar for the first time for, for that album because I know that she also played it on the song Money because that was the song that I did a, a remix of for the mixing competition of David Bendeth and the Warnings. Yeah, so so I know she played Barry guitar in that because there's a Barry guitar track, two of them actually, two Barry baritone guitar tracks in the song Money, just in certain sections of it. So that's very cool. She obviously fell in love with that sound. Cool stay and yeah he did a mix of i don't know how many guitar strings the bass was easier yeah it was just yes. one bass like francesco took it to his bass tech basically mm -hmm. who changed the the strings, the strings and everything and changed the <laughs> they sound a little low-key like i do right now and then i just recorded with that that, that was easier than yours <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah way easier than the drums it sounds like was there uh stress or even like, uh, were you guys nervous? Kind of like when you're presenting a final exam is like, is it going to be good enough? And, and are yeah. we going to... It's a good analogy for teenagers and doing school stuff. Yeah. Able to yeah. do it of in time. Did. Yeah. yeah, I think it was, it was like... worse than a final exam. Yeah. I mean, because... No. The... <laughs> well, he doesn't sound convinced about that. I mean, these songs you're are like playing... your babies and then you're just mm. like throwing them there into the lion's den. It's like... And... Wow, that's violent. <laughs> <Pow>. <laughs> in performance also i think well i got kind of like because really these are to... professionals and they were with so many you, like... people and you like <laughs> they have very like high, high standards 
high standards, mm -hmm. ex as, yeah, exactly. So you start playing like, am I good enough? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Am I and, good enough? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And but I think that we worked really well. Mm -hmm. I think we the flow was like very well. We yeah. worked quickly. Actually, uh, yes, but still like recording uh, guitars for me was a little bit of like a wake up call. You know, like. Like to realize that I still have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot to do, and to clean up. Um, especially, I got to work with uh, Osvaldo. Uh -huh. Osvaldo, I don't know his last name. Didio. Didio. Oh, <laughs> he's Italian. Oh, I was gonna say I didn't sound Spanish. Okay, cool. <laughs> and he is such an amazing guitar player. Like I, I really can't believe it. And he plays all sort of stuff and he like really understands when we like i don't know he understands uh and watching him play was really kind of like an inspiration to me and i really would like to like be like him someday he's an awesome awesome guitar player he has like the cleanest technique ever and honestly i did that i like at least for me it was also a wake up call because i mean I noticed things that I have to work on. Francesco told me things I have to work on. I yes. mean, it was like people actually told you right to your face, like this is wrong. Mm -hmm. So it's just like, and there's no sugar recording. It's like it's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> pow being pow. It's basically now that we're back here. It's just like yeah. I seriously need to work on that then. Yeah. And uh, but I think that's great because we can actually come back. Yeah. And mm -hmm. like. Like basically the last thing Francesco right told to me it. was like he gave me like a bunch of picks and he was like you need to work like <laughs> how to play with pick was... yes and no but I mean I'm glad you did because I listened to animosity and songs like that right and what is it error is it one of the other ones has some parts like that but no you don't need to work on pick because you don't need to play with a pick if you don't want to but still if you're going to work with a pick then you might as well be excellent at it that does make some sense Alejandra Interesting. So they each had their projects. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, because you're totally yeah. not used to it. Oh, uh, yes. Well, that's really cool. I mean, I, I got to see most of your experience, and I, I saw you grow hour by hour with those experiences. Even tips like, you know, how to sit and how to set up your drums or, <laughs> you know, what kind of shoes are better to... <laughs> You know, to use with your drums and how to hold your guitar, or mm -hmm. even the pick situation that was really cool. Oh, yeah. And um, and then all three of you got to work with Larry King as a vocal producer, mm -hmm. and that was pretty mind blowing as well. So, what did he you guys? He was amazing. <laughs> it was really, really cool. Yes, we actually ha got to learn a lot from yeah. him too. It was like because yeah. I mean, we know a lot about our mm -hmm. instruments. But when it comes to like vocals, I mean, we're kind of like, yeah. it's not like we were natural born singers, which is like, yeah, we have amazing voices. You know what I mean? No. I don't If you hear recording of myself like four years ago, it's like. <laughs> Back in black. Yep. Yes. So we really have had to work on our vocals mm -hmm. and having Larry King there, like coaching us for like the recordings. It was it, it was, was amazing. Like, yeah. He noticed Especially, like every single yes. little thing. Like he Danny, saw right through our like, weak points. Let's yes, say. habits and stuff like exactly. that. Exactly. Like, like he stuff that we know. Yeah. Right. Like stuff that we know that we do wrong that we're trying to fix. He's like, try to do this. Like I noticed that you do this mm -hmm. and that, and we're like, oh wow. It was a very like <laughs> helpful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he was yeah. very blunt, but also like very oh, nice. Yeah. You know, yeah. he would say you know, don't take it to your nose, don't nasal and or breathe this way or Honestly, drop your we, jaw mm -hmm, or, uh, you know, harm. Oh, it sounds like he really knows what he's doing. That's cool. No, I, said, I yes. think it was pretty enlightening for that, all of you guys. That was something like I've never noticed. Like he said, you're too tight lipped. And, I was, and he was right. Like I don't <laughs> open my mouth that much when I'm. So, yeah, I mean, that's the thing with vocal coaches. Uh, my wife is an excellent singer and had a uh, vocal coach for a while who did amazing things with her but the communication wasn't really ideal because the it was a type of person who would describe things as um very ethereally rather than using like physical things like move your jaw this way it'd be like feel feel the breath in your back or something or breathe from your hips or something bizarre right yeah <laughs> 
I think it was very helpful. And about yeah. the blunt thing, I think that everybody that we worked with was like really? extremely blunt. Right to the point. Yeah. And sometimes it wasn't like, like, I mean, we're not used to that most of the time. So it was kind of like, you know what? But like, I mean, that is how like things should be. Yeah. So, but even though at first it was like, whoa, then yeah. it just became like a normal thing. And we're like, okay, then you just need to work on that. It's fine. Mm -hmm. It's fine. It must be weird, right? Because they're probably blunt with each other in some ways, from what I understand. But it's different. Either when they were little, they were, you know, they were little. So it was different. And now here, they're quite successful and making huge strides and doing big things. So it, people have to watch that they don't say the wrong things to them because now they're becoming important young artists. And it's just a complicated situation, right? I get it. But blunt is important when it comes to being able to be matter of fact about like, Okay, you missed this note. You did it because of this. Let's solve the problem. Let's try it this way first. You know, go through steps of correcting things that uh, could become a problem if you don't correct them now. That's how we get better. Like, don't take things personally and just like... Yeah, which is so bloody hard. I get it. I totally get it. That being said, I don't like criticism unless I've specifically gone out of my way to ask for it. That's different. Uh, but then also, I mean, like, for example, if I put music online... I'm offering it there for criticism. That's why I'm there. I'm not offering it there to say, hey, look how amazing I am. It would be nice, but that's not what it's about. Yes. So I think we learned a lot about that yeah. too. Yes. And in the end, pretty happy to be back home after all that time, yes. sleeping <laughs> and course. living in, in the sphere uh, quarters. I literally got home like straight to bed. Like, like yeah, yeah. We're my house, like, my, my bed. bed. It's just that we were, how do you say literas? Bunk beds. Okay, we were sleeping in bunk beds. Yes. And like we had the ceiling right here. Oh, <laughs> I, I hit myself in the head like two thousand yeah. times. And that wasn't that wasn't that much of a, of a problem. The room was really small for five. Ay, mi mamá que cállate. Está bien. Está bien. No, pero es estudio life. For five, <laughs> like it was like small for five people, but it was actually like it was comfy. Like, yes, and yes, it was like, like really comfy. I was able to sleep. Yeah, <laughs> like, I slept well too. I mean, because we were, like, at the end of the day, we were really extremely yeah. tired by the time. Because we worked from, like, morning to night. Yeah, so we we arrived there. It was just like, oh, was, yes. There was one time we got to sleep, like, at 2 a.m. or something like that. We it was, like, 3 a.m. Oh, 3 yeah. And so we were yeah, really... No, it wasn't the song. It was... It was... It was it was the last. It was. <laughs> we know which song we're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it was that song. We finished. It was the, the last recording. It was no, it was not the last recording. But the thing is, we couldn't uh, leave it for the next day because our like voices change from day to day. So they can't talk about it all yet because they hadn't finished the album yet. That's interesting, eh? So we had to like to finish, finish, that, finish day. that day. Even like what to eat, what not to oh, eat. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say they were talking about the song "The End." By the way. We were recording vocals, it was like, you can't eat, what like, was sugar? sugar or dairy. Yeah. yeah. And I was so like, like... Oh, well, there goes my diet. That's all I have is sugar and dairy. I put sugar in my dairy. And this explains why I can't hit high notes anymore. Couldn't eat if, I, like, if I could eat, no sugar, no dairy. But still, I couldn't eat that between like, takes. Like, I mean, we takes. had to take a whole break, like... Right now, you can't eat. And then we had to wait a little bit of time. Bit for like, yeah, so and then like, they were like, <laughs> you look tired, like, jumping jacks. And we're like, <laughs> you had to jump. <laughs> That's such a harsh way to wake yourself up. It does work, but bloody hell. <laughs> My idea of waking up is I make myself an espresso or a cappuccino or a latte or something. It really helped. It, 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 it helped really a lot. Did, but, to but yeah, it, it was a cool experience. It was cool. And a lot of your fans are asking, uh, did you record three songs? Is there going to be an EP? So you finish this experience. Uh, what What's the plan? Okay, we we recorded three songs only just this three. time. Three, 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 three. But of course, that's not going to be just like that. <laughs> We're going to record album. more. <laughs> <laughs> um, we hope. We get to do it at Sphere Studios again. Oh, yeah. Yes, we want to go years. back there. I think that's the plan, actually. Um, but yeah, let's see how that turns out. Yeah, exactly. Very cool. Anything else you guys want to add? I know uh, you had a break in between playing for the Killers, mm -hmm. and that was pretty cool. And it also helped to, to get that little break and yeah. Yeah, leave yeah, exactly. and come back home for a couple of days. A brief, yeah. yeah. Yes. The only thing that I kind of like miss, like we kind of like, delayed the guitars and i was so excited to get to guitars <laughs> but yeah 
we got back and so I mean the guitar. killers was awesome and yeah it was it was basically the I have no idea what Danny was talking about with delaying the guitars but okay like from recording and uh and then we went back and it was like straight back to work mm -hmm. but I think that it was like a very good experience yeah. overall Cool. And we Do had you... a van. <laughs> yeah, we had a van. Did you guys take a picture with a van? <laughs> no! No, we did not. Oh, this is La Wawa point zero point one maybe. <laughs> to take the picture we were all with inside. Van. inside. We're like, inside, inside we have a couple of pictures. We're but like at outside. 1 a.m. of the airport. Oh, yeah. Like... It was late and we're, we were not going to take a picture like, with our yeah, we were with a van. <laughs> asleep. So in the end, Sorry. you would say that um, you come back home as... Uh, better artist, better yes. musicians. Well, I would hope so. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe with the idea of what, like, of what you do to yes. with a goal, yeah. with yeah, a new exactly. goal, and with new experiences and new knowledge. Yeah, exactly. Knowledge. Like Not now we know knowledge. what things we need to improve to yeah. be better artists. That. Well, very cool. Well, thanks for this little interview. I know your fans will. Enjoy it, and we're gonna keep on vlogging. <laughs> if uh, you can call that vlogging, yeah. okay. okay. We'll practice that too. <laughs> yeah, get some more experience. So, thank you very much. Bye. Ciao. That was cool. I like that one very much. That was a lot of fun. So low key compared to some of the other ones, eh? I think we should find another one. I'm gonna post another video. See you guys in a while. Like, subscribe, comment away. Rock on! Yeah.